Hello. <clears throat> Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to another Super Auto Pets video. I'm excited to play more Super Auto Pets because I've um, gotten. I thought I'd lost interest. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought I thought the little the little flick of hyperfixation for. It didn't even reach that point to be honest. But I thought my little flick of interest lasted for a few days and I'd moved on with my life. Then I got on a little game on my break at work the other day. I got on a tiny little game. And I tasted the rare air. I tasted, I, I, I licked my dumb little tongue against the rarefied air of victory. And I got to eight wins, which is a new personal best for the boy. And I went, you know what? I thought the, I thought the meta had left me behind a little bit. I won't lie to you. I was a little bit distraught the last time I recorded this. And if you saw episode five, I have an episode six right now that I haven't uploaded yet. But I might just delete it and go again. Um, so I don't know if that was going to go up, but if you saw episode 5 and then maybe episode 6 if I decided to upload it, I was a little bit devastated and distraught that I'd already been left behind by the meta. It happened in Fortnite, it happened in Pokemon Unite more recently, it happens to me in every multiplayer game I play. R just before I get, especially especially games like, like Tetris 99 was a big example, I, I just want one win and I never quite get there, and right as I'm tickling up against the tee. I am um, the meta revolves and I don't get there. Uh, and I'm devastated about it. Unless. And then I got an 8 win this week. Let me show you. Can I show you guys? Actually, I'll show you guys really quick. Let me just show you guys really quick my team. Me and the team. I'll, open, I'll pull the gallery up. I'll do a little screenshot. Pull the gallery up here. Just scroll past all the uh, Shen He fan art. Have a little look at this one, right? Tell me what your thoughts are. Here's my team. Here's where I'm at. Now I will say I've learned since then, and we're gonna take we're gonna take a little moment here, right? It's been Thanksgiving. It's been a long week. Everyone's been busy. Everyone's been busy. Everyone's been up to all sorts. We're gonna just take a little moment to talk about things that I've learned this week, because there's a couple more units I've been keeping my eye on, and you may see my style of play change a little bit. This is where I was at this week, right? I've been learning about the Moncus, and I've been learning about the Worm. Those aren't the two units I was about to mention, but that was where we were at sort of earlier this week. You can't really see shit. What I can tell you though, that's a melon armor, 36, 37 fish. That's uh, an 8, and then obviously 37 crab, also a melon armor. You've got a 7, 7 worm, you've got an 11, 10 ant, you've got a 9, 9 moncus. It's not bad, it's not great. Here's where I'm at. I've learned a little bit about a little unit. That the fans and, and 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 the players, it's a, it's called the dodo. You may have heard of it. Dead little tiny little dead bird. Um, I noticed when I was playing Suboto Pets this week, I had one little game. Uh, I went against a dodo and I watched the boy had a fish and I watched it go from twenty and the dodo spat on it and it went to sixty and I went, what the fuck? On? I'm aware of this guy's existence. What does this guy actually do though? Because I had no idea. I had no idea. Fish. Thank you. Thank you. The game is so fucking loud. Always. I just moved something. I had no idea what it did. For anyone who doesn't know, let me tell you what the fish does. Let me tell you what the... Can I just move the desktop around a little bit, please? Let me tell you what the, well, let me tell you what the dodo does. Level 1. And let me tell you, it, 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 it's, it's very much a unit that, that um, values leveling up. So you want to try and get it early on if you're going for it, in my opinion. Level 1, plus 1 attack to the unit in front of it. Okay, it's something, it's something. It's not It's not something crazy, it's not going to get It's not going to get the people going, but it's something. Level 2, doubles the attack of the unit in front of it. Level 3, triples the attack of the unit in front of it. Now where I'm at, I'm not quite sure if I'm over crab meta yet. I think the people still vibe with crab meta, I think. However... If you've watched a few episodes and have started to see where I'm going with this episode already, and the image I just showed you, uh, I'm a, I'm just a massive simp for fish. Um, the super auto pets unit, not my friend. Uh, well, you know what? Yeah, my friend as well. Um, I haven't. I, I the thing, my thing with fish. I've done the thing that I always do, where I've like found something that I like and have just stuck with it forever. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. There were probably units earlier on that I liked. Flamingo. I, I was rocking with Flamingo at one point, and then I realized it was not good. I, I I really like, and I don't know if I'm at a point where maybe it's time for me to abandon fish. I don't know if that's the point we're at right now. Because as of right now, I'm like, okay, what I used to do is beef the fish, stick a little crab behind it, 
Now I'm like, beef the fish, stick a little dodo behind it, but then do I still want crab meter? So then where does the crab go? Do I need to play the crab off the dodo? Do I need to have the crab behind? Do I need to beef a, have two units being beefed at once, like a, a beefy fish and then something else being beefed to stick the crab behind? I'm not sure yet where I'm going with that. That said, we're experimenting. The other unit, quite like the kangaroo. I've been having a bit of fun with the, with the kangaroo. Um, witty presidents... When was the last time you had one of those? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Rude balls. Like the Rihanna song. I am... Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? The flexible heads. I like the kangaroo a little bit. A little, little bit rather... About, 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 about. I, can, I can hear... I don't have my earphones and I can hear this stupid game, man. <laughs> this fucking dumb little emoji game is so loud. Shut up. Be quiet. Leave me alone. Well, don't leave me alone. Make noise. Am I crazy? Has it turned itself up or something? Nah, it wouldn't do that to me. There's no music still. I don't see why it'd do that to me. What does this freak do? Um, Fish? No. It's early round. We don't really be worrying too much about early round. Damn, the game feels so smooth because I've been playing it on my phone all week. This is the first time I've played on my PC for like pro probably a week, probably since last weekend. It feels it feels clean as Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my God! It's so loud, you little fucker. Oh, also, I won't lie to you. I was having a great night last night. I was putting up like six and seven wins consistently. I did a run this morning and I didn't get. This, uh, I did one run. I did one run, I didn't get a single trophy. Um, by wins, I mean trophies. I did one run, I didn't get a single trophy. Things aren't looking excellent for me right now. Right, just get one of these absolute honking nerds out of here, then here's what you want to do. I'm straight, I'm straight full send to Dodo-kun. Uh, and then we have, a, we have some options here. I mean, Elephant's a big, strong lad. Now, you could sell this boy... We'll be on eight, and I could stick him in, and then we'll be on five. We could have a little look. We could have a little look. Uh, nah, fuck the elephant. Nah, don't fuck the elephant. Take this thing though, and then we'll just give it a little roll. Dodo con. Oh my god. This and, and part of why I, I had a shitty run um, this morning when I woke up was just because I, I bought the dodo early on, and I didn't see a single other dodo for the entire run, which didn't help. So it's, it's not great when you mainline your build around a single unit, and it's a unit that needs to level up, and then you just get no opportunity at all to level them up. May as well. No more dodos. Bet. Okay. So let's just see where we're at here. We're gonna we are gonna be beefing this fish and we are gonna take a little a little view of the situation. See they've been getting beefy with their fishes already and a dodo. Dodo matter maybe it just is in now. Maybe dodo matter is just in now and I've just only just noticed. Bro, I'm getting my ass kicked. What the frig? Holy shit. I'm actually getting abused again, which is crazy because I've, I've been playing well. So here's the thing. A, a, a younger me would have got pogged for this moment. My... Uh, damn. You know what? Yes. Now, obviously for the five, it's not a, a thrilling situation. It's actually a bit heinous. It's, it's, it's not, it's not, I'm, I'm not getting brilliant rolls here. I got excited at a very early level two dodo, but I won't lie to you. I'm not thrilled at the prospects of just about anything here. I'm going to lose this one. We're going to get our asses, and it's not even going to be close. Yeah, we just got completely abused. It wasn't even it wasn't even close. I'm a little bit defeated. Um okay, so we'll just run this one back. We'll just we'll just we'll just pretend this one never happened. This is just uh I won't lie to you guys. It's a little rough out here right now. Look, I need a little I need a little I need a little movement on the front line here. I need just a tiny little bit of support. Okay. Get out of here. You get in there. This is where things start to, to take a little bit of shape, potentially. Just get me some, um... 
No, stay as a backup, because I'm going to do a little roll in anyway. Let's see what we've got. No. No? Okay. Um, mm, 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 uh, right. Hit, mm, uh, we could, uh, oh, uh, mm, uh, we could, um, we could, we could, we could, we could, we could put, we could do, we could, we could have, we could, we could put, we could, we could, we could, we could, we we could level, we could put this, we could do this level, we could do a salad, or we could do a little level. Let's freeze. Okay, we could level him up right now, or not level him up, but give him a little XP right now, or we could do a salad right now. Let's do a little salad and see what we get. That was probably like the worst of the options, so I guess we'll just um, fail instead. I should have just given this boy a little juice. You know what? Good lord. Hey, Zeus. Okay. Let's just friggin' hell, man. Okay, there goes your little. And then he's gonna get. He's gonna slam. Okay. Then we get a little melon armor. Big hit from the melon armor. Holy shit, we're gonna friggin' win one. Right. This is where we pull it back. I'm, I'm not in the market of giving up. Oh, a little Kangas. Oh, I love a little Kangas. You know what? You know what, baby? Bap, bap, bap. Now, you aren't staying here, but for now... You know what? Full send. No rolls today. Now, where do I want you? And then I'm going to use this cupcake. Because IDGAF, we're in Hail Mary, Mary territory because I've mishandled this situation horrifically. Ooh, oh, you have melon armor. Let's watch little Kangas behind you. Hit, gives friend behind. Ooh, okay, you know what, though? Because he's giving him a boost and he gets his own boost from the attack. So then I could cupcake the uh, camel and then hope he gets an extra hit, which will give the kangaroo even more damage. Or, obviously, I could cupcake this, and then he's going to have... Instead, he'll have 12 attack, but if I cupcake him... He'll have 18 attack, which is a pretty big but You know what? I just want to see. I think this will be interesting because 99.9% .9 of the time I'd cupcake that fish with a big boost from Dodo. So let's just see how this little camel kangaroo setup works because I think this is the first time I've ever had this type of synergy where it's a unit that gains from someone in front and a unit that gives to the thing behind. So they've got a nice little... This is a, this is a new synergy to me that I haven't um, messed with, so this could be interesting. Okay, he died, so we only gave him the one boost. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna survive these. Okay. Okay. We're learning a little bit here. We're in the business of learning, I think, right now. We're in the business of learning. And then and then and then we'll see what we're okay. Give a pet plus two plus two. Freeze me. You know what? Straight up just buy me. I would love another fish. Because I like this team right now. Lord above has blessed me. Now, plus two, plus two. Or two random pets, plus one, plus one. Right. We're not worried about anything that's going on here. My question now, basically the same question I had last time. He'd be on... Oh, he has eight. I was looking at the health for. So he'd be on... So he'd, he'd get a 16 attack... 10 health, melon armor. That's a bit of a beefing unit, right? Plus two, so then three, eight. You know what? Yeah, okay. He did survive a hit, though, and that gave an extra... You fucker! I misclicked, man. I was trying to take the menu off so that I could check what, what it gave. Either the camel or the fish would have been perfect. And uh, this absolute moron just gave it to the kangaroo, man. Okay, so be it. So be it. Let's see what happens. We have four hearts, I believe. So if we if we lose, this isn't the end. Okay, but that's, a, that's an 8-8 eight, eight pig with a kangaroo behind it. Okay, it's a little... Yeah, yeah. This is um, not where I want to be. This isn't where I want to be. This is absolutely where I want to be. What can you say? What can you say? What can you say? Oh, dude, I love... This was the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, a couple more units I've started to, to like the idea of. And I've been they've been they've been railing the hell out of me since I started. But I've been starting to look into them, doing a little work for myself to get them onto my team. The the two that do like the gain from knockouts, uh, which is really unfortunate because I don't know. It's the of course it's the two animals whose names I don't even like know what they are. 
Hippotopotamus? Hippo? The hippo? Hippo... Hip, hip, hippotamus? Or something? Um, the hippo and the, the rhino as well. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't even want to try and say rhino's long name. <laughs> Just embarrass myself. Hip, hippotamus? Um, and Rhinopterus are quite good, but then this is still going to be oh, the problem is my phone's lit up. Is it? Excuse me. Is that? Do we have a problem? Why the fuck did it just light up of its own accord? Oh, because I just missed a phone call. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, right. Oh, oh, oh. Knockout. Oh, but he's got big. Okay, so I know this guy is giving a little juice to the kangaroo, but you know what? I'm just going to say it. Is this, is, this, is this little freak any better? But, uh, but if we get he's at the back, and I'd have, if I got rid of him, it'd be to put someone else at the back. I don't really want to have the... I guess you could have the hippotamus at the back. But, like, that's kind of weird. But then I want him in front of the kangaroo, so no. I could, I could move the fish and the dodo to the back, and then someone else at the front. Nah, I like... Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Hippotamus. We're rolling anyway here, so let's just see what we get. We're rolling anyway here. Monkus, oh, you could get some, or oh, you could get some juicy hippotamus action going on. Or oh, I love a good monkus. Am I about to sacrifice my crab? You're looking at, you're looking at a five eight crab with meat, versus this boy sticking plus two plus two, so straight away to six nine, nice, which is good B for the fuck it, dude. Little hail mary, yoink. Just see what we get here. Okay, send me. That bison could be interesting long term. Because we have two level three potentiality units. So, um, let's just see what we get here. Okay. And then we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Let's just see what happens with Reese's Rude Balls. Oh, they changed it. It doesn't say Reese's the Rude Balls anymore. It just says Reese and then like the team name's like its own thing now. That's what I noticed last night. Okay, he's eating his sheep. But then has one, one ram. Okay, this guy's gonna get fricked. Oh no, he's getting a little more, more strength. And that's a knockout. That's a knockout. Hello. And there's gonna be another knockout on your tiny little sheep, idiot. You're gonna give me too much. Oh, if you swallow, you get the benefit of the sheep twice. That's interesting. I was like, oh, that's silly because he shoots the front, so he only gets one ram. But then it, it puts it back out, so he's gonna get it again. Okay, he was definitely going down here, but we we've beefed my kangas behind him strong enough that we're gonna get through. Okay. Uh, my concern, my biggest concern right now with this team is is the back, basically. I feel like we've got a nice, strong front, but this monkey, this maybe helps. This monkey, obviously, is, if we get to the back, the dodo's okay, but could be better. The monkey isn't brilliant. What I, I'm going to do, straight up, chomp, chomp, there we go. 6-6 six, six monkey feels a little bit better, a little bit better. So let's just, now we're looking at, Turtleage. The problem is, it's a little late. My, my, my strat with the turtle now is just to sleep and pill him ASAP for the for the for the permanent melon armor. I used to I used to try and build my turtle a little bit, but now now that I'm starting to, I think that was just a thing of like not knowing as many units. Um, but now that I'm a bit more familiar with a, a, a few more units and have like a few more options to me, um, I, I'm I'm happier to just get the get the turtle on, get him his permanent melon, and then and then get him gone. Um, so this right now doesn't do a great deal for me because I don't really want to get rid of any of these peeps right now. Um, this isn't a brilliant shop because we have three coins and can't buy anything. What we can at least do, so this is going to be our team going into the next round. What we can at least do is get three re-rolls and maybe get something good for the next round. Um, here's the Rhinopterus. Knock, knock out, deal four damage to the first enemy. Okay. I prefer the hippo. Yeah, I prefer the hippo. I like the little... Yeah, I prefer the hippo. So I'm going to keep an eye on this bison, because ideally I still would like to level up both of these, obviously, because a triple attack's crazy, and then this just gives everyone plus two, so why would I not want to do that? However... Um, the optics on that aren't, aren't looking incredibly like... Oof. I kind of want to leave this open, because, you know, you could look at, like, some chocolate in the future or something. There's a kangaroo. We'll, we'll give that a maybe. We have a few slots open in the shop. Uh, oh, frick. No, okay, send it. Send it. This is where we're at. Let's see where we go. Uh, and bearing in mind as well, again, four hearts. So our loss, we're not in game over territory yet. 
Okay, I see a, a, a hippo with a kangaroo behind it. That's a really, that's a good little play. That's a smart little play. I wish I thought of that one. Putting, a, putting your kangas behind your hippos. Not a bad little play, in my personal opinion. I hate the splash bush, because it just... Bush? The splash bus because it just deleted my melon armor. This one's going to be a loss, I think. Fucker! Close. It was closer than I thought. When I said that, I was like, this is a comfy loss. That was close. Okay, we're now backs against the wall territory. Oof, we love a little sushis. Double bison as well, man. It's a shame that there's, there's not much going for it. You know what? Eh. Mm, eh, eh, eh. We're going to have one reroll. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. You can tell the the fake ADHD brain to switch because of how much thought I put into the last turn. And then I got faced with a shop this time and went, I'm happy to be done with this episode now. So we're just going to see me through it. My, the, I, the, 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 I'm sorry. The switch, in, the switch in my brain just flicked and I've lost interest completely. Um, that was not bad. It wasn't great, actually. Four trophies. But that was a good little learning experience. I think a little, a little hippo. If we got a hippo early on. The problem is because we got the monkeys quite late. But a little, a little hippo in front of a kangaroo was working quite well. I like the dodo. Um, it's a shame we couldn't get either our dodo or our fish to level three. But I don't mind that one. And ladies and gentlemen, we're officially into one run per episode territory. That's crazy. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all very much. And I'll see you in the next episode. Um, for more Super Auto Pet. Uh, well, what the fuck? I, I must have had my mic in front of me when I was getting ready one day. Because my mic smells like Givenchy Gentleman Aftershave. Dude, my mic smells so good. What the fuck? That's like the weirdest thing. Because I use a sock on my mic because I broke my pop filler. I don't know if I sprayed some aftershave near it and it went into the... But this smells delectable. It's, it smells like my aftershave. It's got my aftershave. It smells like it's, it's got my, my signature scent on it. Excellent stuff. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bonk.